Hi, you awesome human. I'm Masha, and come join me on this delightful tasting experience of this, 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 and this product. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about the best new products in food and beverage space of 2024 as voted by the Canadian consumers. I'm going to review a few products on that list and do a taste test. So if you're interested, keep watching. Alrighty, up next is cheese fries. Mmm, yum. It is by a Canadian company called Saputo. I believe they've been in the business for like 70 years. So, and I do buy their cheeses in general, like on occasion. So I do know of the product. So this cheese fry is halloumi style. All right. And I do need to, well, there's like three options. You can, not, not three, four options. You can pan fry it. You can air fry it, deep fry it, or grill it. So I'm going to go quickly pan fry it and we'll do a taste test. So this was the first time I've heard of a halloumi style cheese and I wanted to share with you what that actually means. A halloumi style cheese refers to the cheeses that are crafted similarly to the traditional halloumi but may not originate from Cyprus, where halloumi is a protected designation of origin. Halloumi style cheeses typically have a semi-hard, grillable texture that are made from a combination of sheep's, goats and sometimes cow's milk. These cheeses are known for their unique ability to retain their shape when grilled or fried, creating a crispy exterior while maintaining a firm, chewy interior. All right, I am back. So here is the cheese fries. I think I might have like over fried them a little bit, but let's try it. All right. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. mm. Yummy. This has um it has like a semi hard texture, but then kind of like rubbery and stringy consistency at the same time. Mmm, this is good. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of those mozzarella string cheeses. Yeah, that's what it is. Mmm. A little bit too much salt for my liking, but it's pretty good. It would be very good um, appetizer type of food for parties. Kids probably will love this, by the way. Mmm. Yeah, not bad. Very good. Okay. Let's look at the ingredients. Pasteurized milk, modified milk ingredients, pasteurized cream, salt, bacterial culture, calcium, chloride, microbial enzymes, spices, potassium, sorbate. All right. All right. Um, okay. Well, oh, okay. The only thing... I see here on the packaging, uh, there is some trans fats. So um, 0 0.2 grams per 20 grams. So just kind of be aware of that. But other than that, again, like I said, a little bit too salty for my taste, but otherwise it's a good product. So kudos Saputo. All right, next up is the Double Stuff Gluten-Free Oreos. So when I saw this product being on the list for the best new products of 2024, I had questions. Um, why is that on the list? Because I thought this product already came out like a year or two years ago. However, I mean, it was essentially voted by the Canadian consumers to be the best gluten-free cookie for 2024. So I guess it makes sense. Um, so let's look at the packaging first. So there is about 353 grams in this package. So that would be about 24 cookies in here. 
and um, it is 140 calories per two cookies. So let me just, we'll do the tasting first and then I'll look at the ingredients. All right, so it looks definitely double stuff for sure. Quite a bit of cream in there. Um, I did notice there are these holes at the top of the, um, at the top of the cookie there. I don't know if you can see them here. So there's like three here and three here on the side. So that can actually be possibly, since it's a gluten-free cookie, be to help out with like the baking process of the cookie. All right, let's try it. I don't think I would be able to tell the difference, to be honest, between the gluten-free cookie and the regular um, one. Interesting. I mean, the difference that I do taste, I think the cream is much more creamier and also softer in texture and way more, just way more creamier, I guess. Very interesting, yeah, but you can't really, I, I don't think you could taste much of a difference between like the regular Oreo or the gluten-free one. All right, let's look at the ingredients here. So in terms of the ingredients, so it has, um, of course, first ingredient is sugars. So tons of sugar, um, modified palm oil, white rice flour, tapioca starch, vegetable oil, gluten-free oat flour, cornstarch, cacao, soy lecithin, baking so soda, salt, Zenum gum, unsweetened chocolate, and the last one is artificial flavors. Okay, so let me tell you what I think about the artificial flavoring. So, I mean, I think we all heard that the artificial flavoring is not great for us, but it is essentially like a chemically derived substances that mimic the taste of natural flavors and in small amounts it is deemed to be you know safe to eat uh, and fine however did you know this that the companies are not required to list the various chemicals that they use in creating the artificial flavors on the label and instead they can just say artificial flavoring isn't that wild I mean, if you are like me, I would like to know what goes inside, like what ingredients go inside the products that I consume. So I can decide if this is something that I want to put in my body. So because of that and oops, sorry, Oreo lovers, but because of the artificial flavoring, I mean, again, the cookie does taste, you can't tell the difference between the gluten-free Oreo and like the regular Oreo. Um, so it does taste pretty much the same, uh, other than the cream, like I said, is a little bit softer texture. But gluten-free Oreo double stuff would be a no on my list. All right, moving on to the next one on my list, which is the dark chocolate drizzled orange chips. Uh, so these are made by the company called Chivis, and they are actually women owned and operated business located in British Columbia, which is amazing. And th I believe these chips, uh, so they call chips, but they actually are, they won under the category of dried fruit. So I am excited to try these. They are, the one thing I do want to mention is I noticed they are gluten-free, nut-free, palm oil-free, and no artificial uh, sweeteners or flavoring. So a uh, huge plus on my list. All right, let's dig in. I believe when I opened this bag just now, it looks like there's probably about like 10 of the pieces there and these are whole pieces of orange thinly sliced 
very thinly sliced and just drizzled with chocolate. Smells delicious. It literally smells like, it has this sort of like a orange zesty kind of smell and um, very, very pleasant. And um, let's try it. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, wow. So, right away, you get hit with this awesome orange flavor. And actually, I don't mind the skin at all. It's so tasty. And the dark chocolate complements it really, really well. Uh, you don't taste... Um, there doesn't seem to be any sugar actually in here, but I'm gonna look at the ingredients in a second. But it tastes really, really natural. Really yummy. It tastes something that I would eat. Oh my God, I can probably eat this whole pack so easily. Really, really good. Mm, so there's about 60 grams in this pack and um, 110 calories per 10, uh, sorry, 110 calories per five pieces. So I think there's probably about 10 pieces in here. So that would be about 220 for the whole pack, which is not too bad. In terms of the ingredients, so there are dried oranges, chocolate liquor, sugar, cacao butter, soy, lecithin, and vanilla. So that's about six ingredients. So that's awesome. And the one thing that also stands out is the, this, so the five pieces of this contains about 56% of your vitamin C daily intake. Wow. So that is pretty good. Uh, sugar content is like, I think it's relatively high because it is about 13 grams of sugar per 30 grams of these orange chips. Uh, but you know, everything else, all the ingredients and considering the fiber in here is about five grams per 30 grams, I think outweighs in my eyes, at least uh, the sugar content in here. So, so this is pretty good. I would say highly recommend. When I saw this product, I was like, hmm, I've never tried goat cheese pops. So that sounded interesting. It's very curious to try it, number one. Well, first of all, my family actually does not consume cow's milk. Is that weird? Yeah, I think that might be weird. So we actually drink goat milk. We prefer goat milk. And the reason for that is because, well, number one, goat milk, I think, is like, um, chemically more closer to human milk than cow's milk and it is more easily digestible than cow's milk so that's reason number one and uh, number two is my oldest son has like number of allergies so we just prefer goat milk so anyway I am going to try them and uh, we'll see what they taste like there is about 12 cheese pops in here, uh, four of three, uh, four of each flavor. So the flavors are wild blueberry and honey, zesty piri piri and honey and savory bruschetta. Bruschetta, bruschetta. And um, so what we're gonna do is, I was actually just trying to open this package. Uh, oh, look at this. I was literally like struggling three seconds ago to open this and now, and now we can open it. Okay. It comes with um, the pretzel sticks. Okay, so that might be nice if you are having a party and you want to do like a quick appetizer. So that would work. So let me make these and we'll try them. This is what they look like. Um, so what you do is you just get the pretzel stick out, stick it in the ball, and there you go. Let's try these. So first one in would be, oh, this one is broken, so oh, that's okay. Got just fully cut off. 
So this one I'm trying is wild blueberry and honey. All right, let's try this. Mm. Ooh. It's got like sharp flavor. Oh man. Um, not sure how I feel about this. I mean, like I've had goat cheese before and obviously we drink goat milk, but this is like, oh yeah. Mm. Wild blueberry and honey. Ooh, that's sharp. Let me try this one here, which is what? So I think this one is the savory bruschetta or bruschetta. Let's try this one. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. So this one is a fav the savory bruschetta. Hmm, that's interesting. That's that's I think that that's much better than the other one that I tried. Hold on one second. Mm, mm hmm okay this is like a maybe for me okay all right let's try hold on one second you gotta get some tea to wash this down all right let it let's try um what is the last one the zesty piri piri and honey what is piri piri Holy moly. Oh my God. Is this like a chili? Oh. Oh my God. It's spicy. Oh my God. Hold on. Holy. Okay. Ooh. Okay. This one is, this one must have like, so, okay. Piri Piri, I guess, is like chili peppers. Uh, I mean, there's a picture of it, so, right? Okay. Um, okay, interesting. I take on this cheese pop. Even though I am actually a fan of goat milk, my family is, I do like goat milk and in general goat milk products. I don't know if it's worth if it's worth your money, to be honest with you. Like, I like the idea of the cheese pops, of them being sort of, uh, having them for like a party, right? So it's a very easy setup. You take a pretzel stick, you just stick it on the ball, in the cheese bowl, and well, voila, you have a dessert, I mean, an appetizer, right? However, because of the flavoring, I mean, I just, Kind of disappointed to be actually to be honest with you i thought i well, just thought this product would like be like or taste way better if you like curious to try it okay try it but yeah kind of be a no for me if you enjoyed watching and found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thanks so much for watching and cue the bloopers i'll see you in the next one Mwah. voted by the 15,000 Canadian consumers, yay Canadians. Um, what was I gonna say? I'm going. Uh, taste testing. Taste testing? Test tasting. By the way, hi. My name is Masha. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you? No, that's that sounds weird.